Hi, this is Rosie Snow, the Director of Christian Discipleship at Wesley Memorial United Methodist Church. For this week's Discipleship Dispatch, I have a message for those of you who are more socially conscious. I know there are many folks like that at um, our church. For people who have a tendency to feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders, which is something I have often struggled with. For people who have those sorts of feelings, you may be running up against the limits of that attitude with the current situation just being so overwhelming. The changes that are underway right now are too vast and fast moving, complex, and all pervading for anyone to know what happens next or have any meaningful control over it. Even the most powerful people on this planet really don't have control over this situation. And that's not to say that we are helpless, but this is a time to embrace humility. You know that feeling when you look at the night sky full of stars, which may be a little clearer picture these days with the uh, drop in, in pollution and air pollution. When you look up at the stars and, and you just melt into that feeling of being so small, of your problems feeling so small and yet feeling so connected to something so much larger than yourself. Uh, humility, it doesn't mean insignificance or shame, but it is an invitation to let go of that, that need to control. And, and thinking about humility brings me to that famous passage of Micah 6, 8, that really all the world, all, all that God requires of us is to do justice, to love mercy, and walk humbly with our God. This is a universally beloved passage. I was I was watching an interview for some reason with Ken Starr and he said that uh that was his favorite verse, so it's a little uncomfortable. But just goes to show that that so many people connect to the ideal of of this message. And um, some background on this. This verse comes as Micah warns Israel that because they have not done these things, they have not loved justice um, or done justice or loved mercy or been humble, uh, there are consequences on the way that the rulers of Israel in particular, they have abused their power in order to hoard wealth and oppress the poor. You know, nothing that ever happens today. Uh, sarcasm. And so God brings calamity on them. There are consequences. But even in the midst of calamity, what God requires doesn't change. No one has to save the world or save the day. No one has to try to control the events of history. Only to do justice love mercy, and walk humbly with God. And that's what God requires of us now, too. And I'll break that down. To do justice. I won't prescribe how you should fulfill this or how much you should do. Many of us feel so overwhelmed now and are feeling pressure to do, do, do all sorts of things and to, to help um, everyone, everywhere. That's just not possible. But just do justice in your own way uh, to the degree that you're able to um, in some form. And if possible, find ways of doing justice that intersect with your abilities and your interests and what you're passionate about because you're more likely to keep doing justice if it's something that's actually pleasurable for you. Loving mercy. For me right now, this means paying close attention to what people are doing right now that is beautiful, 
that is merciful and kind. As one of my favorite authors, Adrienne Marie Brown, says, what you pay attention to grows. Uh, so many things are collapsing right now and falling apart. Entire sectors of our economy, um, just entire segments of, of the systems that have been determining the, the order of, of our world. And some of those maybe needed to go and others we don't want to go. But I think that if we do pay attention to where things are happening that are really um, generative and merciful and about taking care of each other and about being resilient, if we pay attention to that instead of just watching the ugliest, ugliest parts of what's happening, those, those efforts and those phenomena are going to grow and hopefully uh, be the basis of what comes next. Lastly, walking humbly with God. And I already talked about this a bit. Just let go. Don't try to control the situation. Don't try to predict the future or try to track down all these experts and analysts who think that they know what the future is. They don't. That's not your job. Your only job is to feel yourself in the bigness of God, to feel yourself so connected and so supported and so loved. So I hope that you're able to root yourself in these uh, feelings and in this instruction from God and know that doing justice and loving mercy and being humble are all part of the same the same thing and it is a, a gift that we're able to to feel that weight lifted off our shoulders and just do these things so i hope that you have a blessed week